That's what we were. Poor people called us poor. Yeah. <laughs> Cotton farmers. You don't make much money raising cotton and corn. Matt Rapp, called Rapp Town. He had five renters on that place. Yeah. Mr. Rapp, he was a good old guy. He was a good old guy. She was selfish. <laughs> he got half. Half? Mm -hmm. Well. Because we didn't have any equipment there. If we'd had our own team and plows, we could have got a uh, three quarter. Mm. But he furnished everything. Daddy got sick while I had to do all the plowing. Me and Mama. Mama, Mama rode that color later you like I did. Mm. She was a little bitty woman. Yeah. She might have weighed a hundred pounds. Right. Daddy weighed about two hundred and twenty. He's a big man. Yeah, we raised our own hogs and everything. <laughs> yeah, they were pets. Bang! Got up one morning, Daddy told me, said, son, said, we had a Jersey cow, said, she's down with a calf or more, said, no find her, but no, yeah. oh, we found her. Claude MacDonald, we'd, we'd, we'd go rabbit hunting together with our, we called them nigger shooters, slingshots. And uh, we talk, oh, we found her way back down in the pasture. And she had stepped on that calf's leg, front leg, and broke it. Uh huh. Fighting the mules off. Uh -huh. So, the blood, they go crazy. Yeah. And, uh, she had stepped on his front leg and broke it. Uh -huh. That's the reason she hadn't brought him home. Well, we were just a couple of kids. We carried him far as we could, and that's Wait a minute, dog. That old cow, that old general cow, she just. We used to stake her out and uh, had a leather band around her head with mm -hmm. a little chain or rope on it. About a 50 foot and she could graze. And uh, so back then, boys wore belts. Just would hang, hang our rabbits on there. Mm. And uh, so I pulled mine off and, and uh, put it through that band on it. She just as gentle as she could be. Uh, and uh, we carried that calf and carried I said, wait a minute, everybody, wait. we'll put that calf across her back. Mm. And she brought it home. I had to go down to the barn and uh, hold him up. And, and let him nurse. Mm. Finally, it got strong enough that he could stand up. Daddy said, "Well, then, with that broke leg, he won't bring any money at the market." So we killed him, and Mom cooked all the meat and canned it. Then he tried knocking him in the head like that. That, that bullock had to shake his head. And that <laughs> finally, he took his shotgun and killed it. And then over at the packing house, when I was working over at Swift, well, they used air triggered guns. Over at the packing house, it's my job to keep keep those stunner guns, air guns, uh, repaired and in mm -hmm. shape and change out the knives on the choppers. Now, the pigs were stunned by electric, but the sheep was stuck. Bleed them. 
Well, I don't really know. I think uh, on sheep, when you kill them like that, uh, blood congeals too quick in the mm. veins. Twenty-five years. Yeah. I still get a pension from them. Really? Hundred and. I think we just said it's about a hundred and nineteen dollars. Huh. See the main plant the headquarters was in Chicago. I tell everybody Swift had shut the plant down to get rid of me. <laughs> and during that time, I had my own pest control going. Right. I had the United Exterminators. They didn't do nothing but warp on. I mean work. The little boy says from can to can. I'd get up from there and I'd go get in my truck and take off and do what I could till it got dark. Yeah. Come home and take my bath and go to bed and I was up and at it at seven o'clock the next morning. Didn't hurt me. Right. Made me old. <laughs> no, I went to Greenville and I worked for <coughs> Robin Hood Flower Company and they laid me off. Oh, yeah. See, the, they, uh, during the war, they didn't have the means to bleach their flower. Mm. And so when they started bleaching again, well, then, uh, uh, they laid me off, and uh, at that time I was had my pest control business. Yeah. And uh, couldn't find no job, and, and uh, Daphne and Johnson, son said, if you come to Fort Worth, I believe you can find you a good job. So <clears throat> I did, and I went to work for Swift and Company. Let's go outside. They didn't do nothing but work, so. I'm leaving work. 